Hey everyone, Slambo here, hopping on another thread. This is the uh, compilation final tag. I know there's been a lot of tags going around recently, and uh, you know there's talk of a few more. I'm not going to be able to do all of them, but this one I was able to pull together pretty quickly. Uh, I don't have answers for every single question as asked, so I've made a few modifications so that they'll all fit in, uh, except for one where I don't have anything to show yet, but I'll explain when we get down to that. So the first question on the list is show a compilation that introduced you to a genre. I'm going to show one that I showed for the jazz vinyl tag, and that's Glenn Miller, the uh, Lost Recordings and Secret Broadcasts. This is what got me into collecting big band swing uh, and early jazz. So this was the first jazz that I remember buying, uh, and it's the one that really got me into big bands. So second question on the list. Show a garage rock or psych compilation. Well, I don't have one that's completely garage or completely psych, but looking through my discogs, this one has a few garage tracks on it. This is Bummed Out Christmas, uh, and it's got bands or tracks such as Somebody Stole My Santa Claus Suit by the Christmas Jug Band, uh, Christmas Eve Can Kill You by the Everly Brothers, uh, further down, we've got Lonely Christmas Call by George Jones, Christmas in Vietnam by Johnny and John, Santa Got a DWI by Sherwin Linton, Who Took the Merry Out of Christmas by the Staple Singers, uh, and it ends with Christmas in Prison by Doug Legacy and the Legends of the West, and it has on the note there featuring Rye Cooter. So there's some big names and some really small names on this one. So Bummed Out Christmas is my pick for uh, Garage because it's got a few Garage tracks on there. So next one, show a Lost Leader Warner Brothers compilation or show a compilation showcasing a specific label. Well, I don't have uh, Lost Leaders, but I do have one from Sire Records, and that's Just Say Yo, Volume 2. Uh, this one has Ofra Haza, Morrissey, Katie Lang, Book of Love, the Mighty Lemon Drops, uh, Soup Dragons, Throwing Muses, Erasure, and a couple of others on here. So this one is a good general mix of uh, 80s rock uh, and some alternative rock mixed in there. So not uh, not too wild so far yet, you know. But there were only three in, so there's some there's some crazier ones coming up. So, next question: Show a numero compilation. Well, I don't have anything from that label. Uh, I do have a lot of uh, a lot of compilations from Rhino Records when they were releasing a lot of comedy records in the 80s uh, and the 90s. And one of them is one of my favorites, Zabagabee by Barnes and Barnes. Uh, Barnes and Barnes are a comedy duo. One half of them is Bill Moomy, who's also uh, starred in a lot of TV shows, including The Twilight Zone, uh, Babylon 5, and many others. Uh, if you look them up on IMDb, there's a whole long list of them there. Uh, but this one, Zabagabee, is their greatest hits, and it's got tracks including Cats, uh, Loch Ness Lady, Pizza Face, Party in My Pants, a uh, cover of What's New Pussycat, uh, and of course it starts off with fish heads, which I also have on a single. Uh, oh, and by the way, the uh, the little child on here in the cover is known as the Zabaga Baby. So Zabaga Baby by Barnes & Barnes is a best of compilation from Rhino Records. So rather than Numero, we went with Rhino. Uh, next question is one that I don't have anything on that label again. Show a Light in the Attic compilation. Well, when I hear A Light in the Attic, my first thought is the Shel Silverstein book, A Light in the Attic. Shel Silverstein also wrote Where the Sidewalk Ends, and he recorded Where the Sidewalk, poems from Where the Sidewalk Ends on record and CD. Uh, this is a, a release that was originally released in 1984. This is a reissue from 92. Uh, this has 36 tracks on it. Uh, so it says on here, Shel Silverstein, the multi-million multi best-selling author and illustrator of A Light in the Attic, The Giving Tree, and many other books of poetry and stories, is America's best-loved children's poet. All the more uh, remarkable when you realize that he was also a cartoonist for Playboy. <laughs> 
So Shel Silverstein, Where the Sidewalk Ends, uh, is my connection to A Light in the Attic. We're kind of going Uno rules on that one, connecting from one to the other. Uh, next question on the list here, show a jazz compilation. Well, as, as I showed in the jazz tag, uh, and I've shown in many other videos, I have a lot of jazz compilations. The one I'm going to show today is one that I don't think I've shown yet on, on a video. Uh, and that's Russ Carlson and his High Steppers, the Crown House Band. Uh, this one has 24 tracks. Uh, it also it says digitally restored and remastered on the back here. Bunch of tracks on here. So we've got Crazy People, Is I In Love, I Is, Cabin In The Cotton, uh, Thou Shalt Not, Sleep, Come On And Take Me, Three On A Match, When You're Over 60, Love is like that, keeping out of mischief now. Uh, and it ends with In a Shanty in Old Shanty Town. So 24 tracks. Uh, this one is uh, sort of the connection between Dixieland and Swing. It's it's right in that era, right around the 1920s era. This was the, the housebound for Crown Records. Uh, and it says volume one there. So I gotta look into it and see if there's a if there were any more of these released, because this is a really good compilation for my collection. So the next one, show a live music compilation. This one I know I've shown before, because there were a couple of threads that have come up about Show Us Your Cats. So I'm going to show this one again. This is Pussycat by the Asylum Street Spankers. And I'm showing this one because right in here, the top line of the liner notes, this is volume two, or this volume two in our bootleg series represents the second half of the Spanker's life from 2000 to 2004. So this is live recordings of various shows that the Asylum Street Spankers did. Uh, so we've got tracks on here like Got My Mojo Working, Ringtail Tom, uh, Since Whammo Met You Baby, Dinah, Bluesy Little Tune, uh, and it ends with the birthday spanking song. So Asylum Street Spankers with Pussycat for the live compilation. All right, so the next question, number eight, show a compilation on colored vinyl. Well, I know I've shown both of these before, uh, and here's the, the first actual vinyl uh, that, that I'm going to show today. First one is Jack Tea Garden. It's time for Tea Garden. And this was a thrift shop find, and it's on clear red vinyl. The other one, that I want to show is one that I put into a video just yesterday because it arrived just yesterday. Phone Power by They Might Be Giants. And this one, if you haven't watched yesterday's video about the uh, contest winnings, this one's on white vinyl. So Phone Power is a compilation of uh, dial-a-song songs. Nice big gatefold with a whole bunch of ASCII art all over it. It's kind of hard to read as I, as I tried several of them yesterday, but uh, I listened to it and I do know a lot of the songs on this record. Um, so it's a great addition to my They Might Be Giants collection. Question nine, show a holiday comp compilation. I'm gonna take you to task a little bit on this one, Nick, because you didn't say which holiday. And I've already shown a Christmas holiday album. So for this question, how about a Halloween holiday album? Elvira presents Haunted Hits. Uh, this one has the theme from Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr. It's got the blob by the five blobs. Uh, the Purple People Eater by Sheb Woolley. Uh, it's got I Was a Teenage Werewolf by The Cramps. Uh, of course, it's got Screamin' Jay Hawkins, Do I Put a Spell on You. Halloween Spooks by Lambert Hendricks and Ross. Oingo Boingo shows up even on here with Dead Man's Party. Uh, and it ends with Full Moon by Elvira. Uh, oh, and there's also Alice Cooper on here with Welcome to My Nightmare. A lot of funny tracks on here, some more serious, but uh, Elvira's Haunted Hits. Um, the greatest rock and roll horror songs of all time, like it says up there on the top. And there's the back. Another Rhino issue. So the next one, question 10. Show a world music compilation. Well, I've got two from the same style. Um, for world music, uh, when I was growing up, my parents always played Celtic music. So this is a two disc set of Celtic treasures. Uh, on one disc, it's romance and the other disc is dance tunes. The second one, 
Voices of Celtic Women. This this is 14 tracks of female vocals in Celtic music. So Celtic is definitely a world music, so we'll go with that. Next question is, let's see, number 11, show a soul music compilation. I have very little soul music in my collection, and the closest that I'm going to come up with is Billy Eckstein. Everything I Have is Yours, the Best of the MGM Years. This is a two-disc set with 20 tracks on the first disc and 22 on the second. Uh, it says down here on the bottom, it says 28 of these tracks have appeared on Everything I Have is Yours, the MGM Years, uh, released on Verve uh, as a 2LP issue in 1985. So this one has now more than 28 tracks. This one has 42 tracks. And there's the track listing on the back with the Verve label at the bottom. Comes in the slip case cover and the back of the CD case. And we open up the jewel case. There's one of the discs. And the other one looks the same. Nice blue disc. But we got the we got some more notes there on the inside. Uh, this one has the song, tr uh, the track list in alphabetical order on the inside. So, for example, if you're looking for early autumn, that's on track two or disc two, track seven. So, Billy Eckstein, everything I have is yours, a CD reissue that includes about 14 more tracks on the LP issue. Uh, let's see. Next question: Show a reggae compilation. Well, the, I wasn't able to do the reggae tag because I have almost no reggae in my collection, but I do have some ska. Here's the best of Madness. Uh, Madness is one of my favorite ska bands. Uh, I have a couple of other ska compilations, but this one is the one by a s single band. There's 19 tracks on here. This is one of those records or albums that uh, when I was working the dish room at uh, UCR, we would put this one in and we'd crank it up and and have some fun with it throwing all the uh, all the dirty dishes around in the dish room uh, as we clean them off just making all kinds of noise and having a ton of fun in there all right so the next question number 13 show a punk compilation well um, just like with reggae I don't have uh, any punk compilations per se uh, I do have uh, one or two punk records uh, I do have um, uh, the Dead Milkmen, for example. Some would say Mojo and Skid Rope, Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper are also punk. Uh, but I'm going to go with this one because this is a compilation, and those other two aren't. Those are the other two are just straight albums. This one is definitely a compilation. This is the Devotees, and this is a compilation of fan submitted works in uh, of either either Devo style or the covers of Devo songs. There are. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve tracks on here by different artists. There's the back of it. And this is one that I eventually hope to get an upgrade copy because this is one that the that uh, our cat scratched up the, the sleeve spine. Uh, I've now got it in a protective plastic sleeve and it's uh, behind a uh, plexiglass force field, so <laughs> it's not going to happen again. There's also a little bit of water damage down here at the bottom, and, and some of the label is missing down here. So this is one that I definitely want to get an upgrade copy of, but this record itself still does play great. So And like we've, like others have said, we don't play the covers, or we don't play the sleeves, we play, play the records within them. Next question. Show a compilation featuring cover songs. Anyone who's watched my videos since I started posting videos in uh, late February knows that I have a strong affinity for Disney. I have some family members that worked for Disney Animation in mid-20th uh, mid century. Uh, they worked on uh, some of the big feature films, including Pinocchio and The Sword in the Stone. Uh, so we have uh, some, some memorabilia from that era in our family collection. Uh, none of it's gotten to my house yet, but you know we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, I've got this compilation called Stay Awake. This is a compilation of cover songs of Disney music. So on here, it starts off with High Diddle Dee Dee, An Actor's Life for Me, done by Ken Nordine with Bill Frisell and Wayne Horvitz. And then it goes into a medley with Little April Shower by Natalie Merchant, Michael Stipe, 
Mark Binham and the Roaches, uh, and ends the medley with I Want to Be Like You by Los Lobos. Uh, other bands and artists on here include Suzanne Vega, uh, Sid Straw, Ema Sumac, Aaron Neville, NRBQ, uh, The Replacements, Betty Carter, Sinead O'Connor, Sun Ra, Harry Nilsson, James Taylor, uh, and Ringo Starr closes it out with When You Wish Upon a Star. So that's my pick for a compilation of covers, Stay Awake, by various artists. Uh, next question. Show a favorite album cover from a compilation. Uh, I'm going to pick this one because I actually worked on it. This is the Midwest Midwinter Gypsy Swing Fest 2008 live. Uh, so this one has a couple of my photos in the artwork. So that photo there on the front cover is one that I did. And... The photo that you can just see on the back there, that's another photo that I did. So if you look on IMDb for this one, I'm listed in the credits. So I actually have uh, a production credit myself. So that's why I'm picking this one as my favorite cover. One thing that I don't like about it is what the little sticker says. Uh, there was originally a second disc in here featuring the Hot Club of Detroit, but they had to, uh, had to take it out because it couldn't get the licensing. But the rest of it disc one, which is still there, has several tracks from different bands that played at the Swing Fest. So we've got the Robin Nolan Trio, Alfonso Ponticelli and Swing Gitan, uh, Harmonious Whale, which I've talked about before. They're also local here to Madison. Caravan Gypsy Swing Ensemble. I know I've shown stuff by them. Uh, let's see. Hot Club of Detroit is the only one that I don't have the CD of uh, in this compilation. I do have one or two other Hot Club of Detroit records in or CDs in my collection. Next question on the list. And oops, we got that one there. Show a greatest hits compilation. All right. So for greatest hits, got to go with Weird Al. So Weird Al's greatest hits. Let's see if we can get it without too much glare. There we go. Pointed at the corner again. Uh, almost there it is. And get it in frame. There we go. So Weird Al's Greatest Hits, um, there's the front and the back, various artwork from different records that he's released. So there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five tracks on side one, one, two, three, four, five tracks on side two. Uh, starts out with Fat, then it has Eat It, Like a Surgeon, Ricky, Addicted to Spuds, Living with a Hernia, Dare to be Stupid, Lasagna, I Lost on Jeopardy, and One More Minute. So not only parodies, but some of his original work on here as well. All right, so next question. Show an indie or alternative label compilation. And for that one, back in the early 80s, everyone was saying no disco, but we're sick of it. And there are a couple of compilations. This one is the one that's in my collection. Uh, this is the No Disco album. Uh, compiled by the insane Daryl Wayne, as it says down there on the bottom. Uh, and this little logo here shows up, there it is, on the album, or on the uh, record label, actually. On the other side, it's all the track listing. Um, the tracks are listed on the back of the cover as well, along with all the artists that actually appear on the record. This is another one that has some very minor cat scratch damage on the edge, so I... I would like, if possible, to get an upgrade copy of this, but it's not as, uh, definitely not as urgent as getting the upgrade of the Devotees record that I showed a minute ago. Uh, so this one also has the K-Rock logo on it because Daryl Wayne was, uh, was working with KROQ at the time. Next question. Uh, show a compilation you bought on Record Store Day. This is the one where I don't have anything to show because the Record Store Day coming up in just a couple weeks on June 12th will be the first Record Store Day where I actually go out and participate. Uh, every other Record Store Day I've completely spaced on it because you know I was doing other projects and I only really finally got back to the record collection this year starting in January and December uh, of 2020. So the, the, uh, the upcoming Record Store Day is going to be my first Record Store Day I do have a compilation on order. Uh, it's the uh, Jonathan Winters compilation. 
and reissue. So I'm hoping to hoping to get that one, uh, and we'll see what else I can pick up at the same time. But there's also a uh, a record show going on in Milwaukee the day after on at Sunday. I'm gonna see what I can find there too. So the next question, number 19, show a compilation from your region of the world. I've got three CDs to show for this one. Uh, two of them are in the same series. Uh, one of the local radio stations does a series of recordings of popular bands that match the station's format. So this is uh, sort of new wave through current rock. The, the radio station is WMMM, it's 105.5 FM here in Madison, and they do a series called Live from Studio M, and they've released a whole bunch of those on CD. This is volume one, which includes the Bare Naked Ladies, Sonia Dada, Johnny Lang, Bruce Cockburn, Marcus Brovery and the Evil Twins, Westside Andy and Glenn Davis, and Dar Williams, and a couple of others on here. Uh, so these are all bands that showed up at the Triple M Studios to uh, play a few songs. So I showed Volume 1. Here's Volume 5. Uh, this one has Bruce Hornsby, The Prophets, The Diddy Bops, The Pat McGee Band, uh, Andy DeFranco, Cashbox Kings, and Charlie Mars, among others. Uh, so on the back, we've got some straight out of Madison chairs from the, uh, from the Union. These chairs are, in fact, trademarked and can only be sold and uh, displayed there at the UW Union. So on the front, we've got live from Studio M in a uh, iPod. And on disc one, that's the Wisconsin State Capitol behind the, uh, the guitarist. So this would be uh, from the Triple M stage at one of the summer festivals uh, way back when. When is this released? It doesn't have a year on it on the outside. Does it have a year on the inside? 2000, so yeah, this is about 20 years old. <laughs> uh, on the back, we've got one of the uh, one of the county highway signs for County MMM, which matches the, uh, the radio station's call sign. Um, so those are two that I wanted to show, but for even more unique, we go to the Upper Peninsula and we get Da Youpers. This is their best of. Starts off with the second week of Deer Camp. Uh, it's also got songs on here like My Car Won't Go, Rusty Chevrolet, Fish and Wit Fred, which I think is my favorite track on this album, Three Months Late, De Couch Dut Burps, Ruthie Rollover, Two Chiquitos, A Dog Named Zippo, Beer Gut, and it ends with Nightmare in My Bathroom. This was released in 1992. Uh, last question on the list. Show your favorite compilation and explain why. Well, I've shown this before, and as to the why, uh, I always end up listening to tracks by this artist or by artists inspired by this artist, so this, this artist's style. And I'm picking this one because I can put the whole thing into my 10-disc changer and just let it play. And it is, of course, the Django Reinhardt 10 disc box set called Portrait. I got this one at uh, Half Price Books. Uh, I think I only paid 20 or $25 for it <laughs> to get 10 discs worth of uh, worth of music, and each one has at least 20 tracks on it. So, And each one of these also has a separate title that's uh, uh, one of the titles of a song on the, on the CD. So we've got Deuce Ambiance with 20 tracks. We've got 20 tracks on Swing 42. Uh, we've got 20 tracks on Vendredi 13. And then we've got another 20 tracks on Daphne. And another 20 tracks on Echoes of Spain. Another 20 tracks on Swing 39. And then on Swing from Paris, there's 20 more tracks. On Stompin' at Decca, there's another 20 tracks. And each one of these is about an hour long in playtime. Minor Swing has another 20 tracks. And Tears has another 20 tracks. So 200 songs on a 10-disc set. So like I said, I can just pop this into my 10-disc changer, put it on shuffle, and just let it play for the, an entire day and never hear the same song twice. So Django Reinhardt Portrait is my favorite compilation, and why is because I'm always listening to 
gypsy jazz or jazz manouche or whatever you want to call it these days uh, jazz manouche is becoming more the more acceptable term uh, rather than gypsy jazz uh, but you still see people call this gypsy jazz so Django Reinhardt portrait is my favorite compilation in my collection so there we have it 20 questions for the compilation vinyl tag I've uh, shown a lot of things, and some that I've shown before, but a lot of things that I tried to show, a lot of new things. I wasn't able to answer every question as exactly, but like, was said, like Nick said in the introduction video, feel free to change it up on some of these questions. So I did that. So that's what I've got today. See you next time.